So today, we're going to go and start a new series called Good Easy A, and man, I gotta say, I've gone through quite a few types of videos while discussing Dokkan or playing Dokkan, like for example, the little Burner Account Chronicle series that I did, uh, I think I'm gonna do like one episode for that. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, if... I don't continue on a specific series, it's either because I forgot about it, or I'm just I'm just not interested in creating videos for that series. Now, a big example is when I used to do the little Sethical Baku video, like the fan-made Baku videos that I used to do back then. If you remember those, you are an OG for my channel, like, good lord, because... If you guys haven't seen those videos, go back to my channel and go look at like the playlist for, I think I did like a little season one, a season two thing. Go back and watch my fan made Sethiko Baku videos. Some of those videos I made were fucking masterpieces. So with that being said, today's video is going to be on STR Goten. And I feel as if though this guy's Easy A was quite good. And the thing that made him so goddamn good on the, of course, on the time of him being a easy aid was the fact that he was a rainbow orb changer and you guys already know rainbow orb changing was and still is one of the more valuable abilities to have in dokkan guys if i remember correctly doesn't the new gogeta rainbow orb change let's go ahead and bring this up real quick doesn't new gogeta rainbow orb change right where is he hey, he's right over here doesn't this this fucker orb change is it him or broly i don't remember uh he does yeah um, orb changing is very valuable, guys. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta throw that out there. It is a very, I think it's a very powerful ability too. And the thing is with rainbow orb changing or just orb changing in general, I feel like, of course, rainbow orb changing is, is obviously better than creating a specific type key sphere because with rainbow orb changing, it makes the rotations just, and the team just flow like water. Uh, with just regular orb changing, like for example, a character who can just change orbs to a specific typing, like in STR or so on and so forth, it's very, it's very like case situational because like for a unit like the, uh, the LR SSJ trio from the, uh, from the Android 13 movie, they want those orbs, right? So uh, rainbow orb changing helps the team synergize better than a than just a regular type orb changer if you guys get exactly what i'm trying to, to <laughs> say so going back on over to this str goten why is this guy so good and why was well he's not really good anymore but why was he so good at the time of him getting his easy a and he gets his easy a during the battle road meta yeah this is may of 2018 so this is 100 percent the battle road meta so he gets his easy a during the battle road meta and why is he so good a he's a rainbow orb changer he changes physical type key spheres to rainbow orbs which is obviously good although it's only to one from one specific typing key sphere to rainbow orbs it still is technically something and that still is a good ability to have even if it's restricted to just physical type key spheres do keep in mind that he is a old easy he's from may of 2018 this guy is how many years old he's gonna creep up on what's that we are in 2024 and this guy came out in 2018 so may 8th of 2018 this guy is going to be six years old wow okay <laughs> Yeah, so he comes out May 8th of 2018, so when it's May 8th of 2024, he's going to be six years old. So going back on over to why is Easy A so good, he's a rainbow orb changer. He starts out with, of course, an attack defensive buff, which is obviously important for a card like this for an early Easy A. And of course, he gains defense for multiple turns. Do keep in mind, this is during the battle of meta, so you have to bring something to the table. And the thing that was the most important, that thing that he was bringing to the table was that he's rainbow orb changing. That just helped the team synergize so well, even though it was the only one type of key, well, one type of key sphere, but that was good nonetheless. <laughs> Got to give him a little bit of slack because although it's just the one uh, typing orb, it's still good because it's a rainbow orb change regardless. And as you guys know, disabling Rampage is obviously worthless. It's only for the, the Broly Dokkan event. So I don't think there's a lot to talk about with this guy. And actually, there isn't a lot to talk about this guy. And I'm only just about to creep up on five minutes of recording in this video. But if you compare him to all of the other family Kamehameha EZAs, it's like he's just, he's just like, 
he has more utility than all these guys do. Because uh, this guy, they want you to send him in slot one to support the entire rotation, but all he has is three key and 80% attack and defense. That's not happening inside the battle room meta. Hell no. Even through an item, he's taking a lot of damage. Now, granted, will this guy take a bit of damage through an item? Yes, but he's only going to be sitting in slot three where in most cases the enemy's not going to be attacking a lot in battle road it depends on how many enemies you're going up against but provided you do get a a common set amount of enemy attacks like two or three attacks in the last slot then he'll, he'll be a-okay i think this guy will do better defensively than this guy of course and this guy because neither of these two fuckers are gaining defense on super. Well, he, technically he is. He's getting 40% defense on super. And he's getting 30% attack. <laughs> so this guy doesn't even start out with a attack and defensive buff. He just wants the super to get his attack and defense. And he gets 30% attack. <laughs> these are battle road meta units, guys. <laughs> this guy is easily the best of all of them. I think that even well, without an item, he could still take a bit of damage. No? I think he could probably take a bit of damage even without an item, but I will say for damn sure he is taking attacks in the battle room meta way better than these two guys because all these guys have to their name in terms of defending is him. He only has 80% defense and he only has 40% defense when he does a super attack. He literally has no attack and defensive buff. <laughs> literally, there's nothing here. So, of course, why this guy is good is the fact that he is a Rainbow Orb Changer. That's the most notable thing about him. And as time went on, I felt as if though this guy... And it's crazy to say this, but there were runs during the Legendary Goku event meta where I would take this guy and he would work. It, call me crazy, but so long as it, you uh, just like did not have this guy inside the... Uh, just in front of like attacks <laughs> as crazy as that sounds this guy worked in the lge meta because i remember that hybrid saiyans mission for lge being tough as shit and this guy was low-key a bit of a clutch unit because when go bros does come out in what go bros comes out in 2019 when does go bros come out of course go bros are a they're a global first lr when does go bros come out i don't remember Gobros comes out in July. Well, technically May. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bro, Gobros comes out a year after the entire family Kamehameha trio gets their easy A on JP. Ooh, that's, that's so weird. So the family Kamehameha trio gets their easy A on JP on May. 8th of 2018 and go bros comes out on global first may 8th of 2019 that's so weird but what i was doing with the of course a pre-eza go bros because they were insane for the, the legendary goku event meta i was using uh, go bros right next to uh, the uh, str goten of course and this rotation was just such a ridiculous just it was nasty bro and if gold bros was getting crits off this rotation was just such a big clutch it's funny i did use this rotation inside the legendary goku event meta well inside the legendary goku event uh, event itself during that mission during this meta to get this mission done <laughs> i think that's really about it you guys completely get the gist on why this guy was good back then and had a little bit of usability in the next meta coming up of course being an lge meta but i think that is really about it this guy's easy a completely shits on the two other easy a's it's like gohan that's the super attack effect sucks he just has he literally has no attack and defensive buff at the start of turn he wants to be in either slot two or slot three to super to get his attack and defense and then goku he starts out with key attack and defense which is obviously nice but the problem is, is that they want you to put him in slot one to support the entire rotation which is definitely not going to happen that's 100 on that not going to happen and of course you have a uh, goten who's gaining defense for multiple turns he's a orb changer and he gets 70 percent attack and defense now the issue is with this guy in my opinion at the time and even now is his link set his link set is terrible i mean he's in a november of 2016 unit but that's neither here or there and obviously his issue now is that he's old ass easy a but yeah <laughs> good back then as his easy a was it of course released then and 
obviously ass now because he's outdated but hey easy a2 might make him an insane option but yeah i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best i'll catch you guys next video i love you all i'm trying to get this webcam situated just bear with me guys peace